All right, let's continue on then. I was kind of like, this is the airless moon where Renba and his stash of finds. Is that what he said? Uh, I was so primed for like there to be a whole level that I like inherently thought it, that uh, that him disappearing was going to be like a whole thing. Like for at least like ten minutes, I'd be like walking around my ship, exploring a bit, and thinking to myself. So I was surprised how quickly th that he came back. The eye of the cyclone. Sounds not advised. Impossibly deep in the swirling waters of the cyclones. Is there still more to find? And is Renbo waiting to be found? I go looking for the sight. I'm gonna die. Let's go. Sounds exciting. The cyclones. Sailing to the eye of the cyclones. I will not survive the process. I've been analyzing the purple robe we found in Renba's tool chest, Aaliyah. The fabric appears to be of a significant age. This seems dangerous. It comes from somewhere else. Oh my goodness. That's clear. But where? And is that place where Renba is? I cannot analyze for that, Aaliyah. Oh, that was supposed to all be her. You can't tell who's talking. <laughs> There's no color coding. I can't see who's who is who. Hold on, Six. I cannot hold on, Aaliyah. We're in one piece. We appear to be. I think there's a decent amount. Ooh, another rapid. This whole area is wild. Ooh. Much like in Disco Elysium, I think there's a lot of value in spending most of the game with one other character to talk to continuously. We better check the hole when we next land. We've come out close to the eye of the cyclones, Aaliyah. The water droplets go left. I cannot see which way to turn at this branch. Probably that big thing. That might be the thing we're looking for. I hope. We will have to choose one and explore. I see it. There's something up ahead. A moon? There is air, but no upriver, Aaliyah. We will need to leave the ship here and hop her down. Please do not be alarmed. It is quite safe. The hopper? Or the planet? I guess last time the thing that wasn't safe was the planet, huh? The Eye of the Cyclones. Will Renba be waiting for us here in the center of the storm? Oh, my controller turned off. Oh, my controller turned back off. Um. Did I go too long with these batteries? Let's find out. I was wondering why it suddenly said press A to continue, uh, press anything to continue, not A. Stay on, I believe in you. Yeah, okay, that's good. The hopper fired, and for a moment I was gone. 
Not aboard the Nightingale, not on the moon beneath. It could have been a heartbeat or an hour. But I didn't feel the cold until I reappeared. A pile of rocks smashed together by the waters. It seems Janiki and uh, had a taste for places like this. You said the last one would be empty too, and it wasn't. So who knows what we'll find here. Perhaps a box of hand towels and a hairbrush. This way, Six. At least you not get along. But yeah, having fewer characters and, and knowing that they're along for the adventure means you can write a ton of dialogue for those characters. And so you really flesh out people like uh, Camus or Six or... Oop. Perhaps Renba is waiting for us just around this corner. We can hop ba him back to the Nightingale and this chapter of my life will be done. Perhaps, Leah. Perhaps. We can only hope. Or Kim Kutsuragi. The more I play, like, Western RPGs that have these, like, a big list of options of who you can have as party members, uh, where you can have, like, two to four of them with you at a time, but there might be twice as many options, it leads to them having relatively lower input than these other cool characters t t could. So they don't feel as developed and they also just kind of don't feel present for the majority of the story. It kind of feels like they're just kind of, there happen to be avatars that represent them walking around with you, but they don't really feel like they're really there as characters because they don't really interact much. And in some of these cases, uh, when you get to side characters and they're like, s them having actual side quests eventually, some of that stuff can be so brief but also missable and hidden and so on that like you can it feels hard to dig out what these characters are up to somewhat strangely in a lot of western rpgs you can like spend the entire game with one character and still not learn much about them because you just like missed whatever trigger causes them to interact more and that can be rough and that's like tied in with like the the secretness of their hooks and the modularity of your party just kind of leading to all sorts of like confusions about how to like best proceed when it's kind of nice just to be like okay you're spending time with this character here you go this is the character for this for this chunk of the story we're going to develop them and just kind of like have that have the outcome be more guaranteed so that you can do more with it hold it six what's that here in the middle of the hurricane there was a house. It was fine. Tucked in below the overhanging rock. Wooden beams, mud brick walls, shutters. Not enough for two families to argue over. It would have been measly on Iox and grand on Elbereth. But here, it was impossible. Someone built this? Buildings do not occur naturally, Aaliyah. Thanks for your input, buddy. 450 year old building constructed the cyclone's eye. Who would build something out here and why? She said it was fine, and I'm like, I had to remind myself she means like, for a ruin, it's doing good. <laughs> like, there are entire walls of this building are down, which is a bit not fine for a house you live in. Uh, yeah, it's, it's worth remembering that she's from Elbereth, so she does, she has some level of background in poverty, but she also still seems kind of blind to her own status and how it affects people, so I, I'm guessing she left that very young, which I guess, yeah, because she's from an orphanage. So I don't think she has that much background in Elbereth, just some. How did Janiki find it? I hope we can ask him. So are robots capable of hope? Certainly. We calculate odds, of course. 
but even the most unlikely outcomes must always eventually occur. Hope is a mathematical certainty. I like that. The mathematics do not care whether you like it or not, mistress. This guy gives me a lot of frowny faces and side eye for a... Uh, for a robot. It's just getting... I could vault over the wall here. Please, mistress. The floor beyond would only give way beneath you. Do you see any other way in? No. Neither do I. The floor looks like stone to me, Six. So it is heavy and more likely to fall. Maybe that's what happened to Renba. He fell through a hole in the floor. <laughs> Does Six actually have reason to think it'll do that? Or is she, or is she le leaping? Blocked with rubble and ruin. This whole place must be slowly peeling away from the cliff. Perhaps you might forego going inside? So what should I do? Just go back to Iox and say, We got so far and then we gave up. You don't think she'd send us right back here? I do not think Professor Miari wants you to sprain your ankle, mistress. Okay, that's a very low standard of risk. I don't think Miari cares about my ankle. And besides, you can always hopper me back to the ship. Here goes. Dead. That was unnecessarily aggressive action. Floor seems sound enough. Six? Where did the robot go? Um? Six? So a robot's abandoned me for once. Look at this place, Aaliyah. No one would live here. They couldn't. Why? Just because of the desert? I have news. <laughs> is that smoke? That is definitely smoke. Oh, Renba. That's your ship, isn't it? Some kind of structure. There's a plinth inside. It looks like a shrine. Might help me date this place. Figure out what it's supposed to be. Yeah, where did six go? Did they fall? They couldn't have left in that time. That was such a quick jump, so maybe they hoppered? I built something as big as this out here. The ghosts were still here, cooking, reading, doing whatever ghosts do. The house was empty, but it hadn't been abandoned. Who was it for? Locked. Or blocked. Or both. If you mash her against surfaces, she can tends to just interact with it if it's a thing. So like that doorway was automatic. An abandoned sandal. I mean, I'm guessing that's not a thousand years old, right? Hardly comfortable. Whoever built this place wasn't worried about making it cozy. And there's an inscription here. It's old, barely visible. Scratched into the plaster. 
You're, it's lucky that these people have such good penmanship that you can tell what, that they're the same symbols consistently. We. Beloved, I, our, and. Buried, protect, goddess. Mm. There's no mountain. The cane thing only shows up in goddess. We don't know... We're not sure what to think of the grammar yet. I do kind of inherently feel that this is a complex concept, so it would require more characters. So I'm more likely to think that this is be watched or fear instead of and or because, because... And or because seem like very shorthand thought concepts that you would... Uh, that would be like practically just punctuation and their f formation. They let you to say goddess here, which is strange because we already have goddess. Death, stranger, and beloved. Our watched beloved. If that thing, if that symbol means we, then maybe this means our, but like, like is this the version that has belonging? Our watched stranger could be, this is a guest bed. <laughs> our fear of death. Protect, buried, and goddess. If it's tied to those concepts, it almost could be death. Protect the buried with a religious connotation, which we tied to death. This one's rough. I don't think we're getting much reliable out of this one. This is going to be one we have to fix later, I'm sure. Hmm. Our fear of death. The rider was dying. The angle is interesting too. Scratched by someone lying down. Am I right? Maybe. Hmm. That's interesting. This he she, she did have the thought that this place didn't seem abandoned, like it just simply ended or something. The fact that the message was written while lying down further indicates I might be right about- Oh! Mistress! Evidently, it is good to see you intact, Mistress. I thought you'd abandon me. My apologies, Mistress. I did not consider your feelings about my decision to go off alone. Ironically enough. How did you get down from that arch? I could not climb over the wall. So I drove myself off the cliff edge. Once I had dug myself out of the sand, I found a door. And are you in one piece? 
Evidently, mistress. I don't know why Miyari wanted me to take you with me. The professor cares about your safety. Then she certainly doesn't care about yours. The snark, the snark, is off the charts. I will wait for you down here, mistress. I cannot climb stairs. I feel like it wouldn't be that hard. He's on, he has like tracks, treads. So if he just pointed his tread, if he just like put his treads on the hill. Let's see what's up here. Ruin and rubble. Once he was diagonal, he should be able to go straight up the stairs. A glint among the stones. But yeah, discovering him made me think that it was time to move on, to come back up here, because it felt, that felt like progress, Like, and I feel like that should turn back and avoid it for a bit then. Why'd it go from Y to A? There's something wedged here. A charred page from a book. I would guess it dates from the Elksian Empire. The paper has been marked. Whoa! This this one is a faded piece from... Can I read that part in time? That's a lot, and there might be chunks missing around it. That's gonna be difficult. This is a longer word. Whereas that could be implied to be a shorter word. Hmm. I've not seen anything even close to the second word. That thing's interesting. Pilgrim follows death. Pilgrim angry. Pilgrim and death. Pilgrim's death? Like it adds p possessive terminology to the word pilgrim? It does feel punctuation-y, so it could be the apostrophe S. That'd be interesting. Hmm. My, I think my takeaway is that we're making so many assumptions that have to compound on each other, so eventually... Eventually we might ha think we have this like extended understanding of the entire world's narrative. And then, cha and then we might realize one word has been wrong all along, for example, and then we have to switch it out and that changes everything. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Pilgrim, Pilgrim's Death. I'll do for now. Okay, well, I didn't think you were going to interpret it quite like that. I'm going to go ahead and change that. If you think that means Pilgrim, then this being the possessive... <laughs> I thought that they were saying that maybe the little dash means the the uh, the possessive form of the word, but instead, uh, <laughs> it just got really embarrassing. I'm just gonna go with and or follow. Maybe follow. I need to learn more if I want to locate this object's site of origin. Presumably there used to be more to it than that. We already know about this period, which will help us to locate where this was made. Artifact comes from somewhere out in the nebula, but I don't know where yet. 400 years ago. What's this? Telescope? Nope. It's quite different than the rest of the building. Some kind of telescope? She does recognize that then. But the position and bearings are fixed. Ah! I'm guessing if we get the telescope and put it back on, it'll point somewhere specific and we'll know what it was indicating. Maybe it activates something or maybe it just points to a specific piece of information. But definitely looks like the, the stand for telescope. The material on this is totally wrong. Is it metal? Rubber? It looks like something Oroi might have built. 
I must remember to ask her about it. And there are scratches on the top here. Something fitted inside the frame and was removed by force. Did you take something, Janiki? But if so, what was the stand meant to hold? I'm wondering if Janiki installed this in the first place. If it doesn't match the surrounding environment. Like if it's recent. There's something over there. I can't make it out. Looks like wreckage? So long as it's not the Nightingale. Yeah, it'd be a big problem if it was ours. I don't think she's gonna go in there. Just don't look down, Aaliyah. Are you afraid of stairs? Now I'll look around down here. Another cot. I found one just like this on the floor above. Someone grew too old, or too ill, to climb back upstairs. So they made up a bed down here instead. Someone died right here, mistress. So where are the bones? A person lay on the floor here for some time after death. Renba? No. Whoever died here died scores of years ago. The lack of moisture on this moon has preserved the traces. But they are old. You're sure? The evidence is minor but significant. The person who lay in state here was only removed recently. Are you saying Janiki took them? What remained of them? Someone did. That's horrid. Why would he do that? Bury them? I am unsure, mistress. Something must have led him to this place. There must have been something here that he needed. That's even more horrid. Yes. Yes, it is. I don't know, I just figured the backstory here might be that there was somebody upstairs who was getting ill or old. They were they were they saw their death coming to the point where they left a remark on the bed to indicate that that they were thinking about death. And then at some point, as, as they aged, they must have hit a point where they could no longer deal with the stairs anymore, so they made do with the shitty cot down here, then died dozens of years ago. Renba comes here way later and, like, potentially takes the body and just buries it out of respect, just seeing that there's this poor body that was just left here. Because this person probably ultimately died alone in this bed, Hitting a point where not only could they not deal with the stairs anymore, but they couldn't they couldn't take care of themselves anymore and there was no one around I saw something from the roof it looked like wreckage from a ship Mistress Are you saying you climbed up onto the roof of this place? So I climbed onto the roof. Why does that matter? The probability of severe injury rights rises as you do, mistress. I would have thought that was obvious. You've missed the point of what I said, Six. The point is Janiki's ship is probably in pieces out there. There's an inscription up here. Hearth and home or something? <laughs> it's up there on the fireplace wall. Hearth. <laughs> I know two of those words. I'll have to guess the other two. 
So we're that we're that confident about water and goddess now. Okay. I don't know entirely what the metric is there. I'm guessing that if you just guess something correctly x number of times, the game then is like, okay, we're just gonna let we're just gonna let you know that yes, that is enough correlation. I did when I found holy water and as the definition of the well after water goddess, I was pretty sure that I was right about water at that point. It's like if I if we were talking in terms of like you know, playing Minesweeper and putting down flags and whatnot. Like if I was marking what I was certain about, I probably would have personally marked water as certain. But there is not an in-game mechanic for marking what you think is certain because the game just does it for you seemingly permanently if you get one word correct enough times. Hmm. That looks like fire. Water goddess blesses, loves, reclaims, runs. Harvest field these fire. Runs fire? It's over a hearth, so fire would make sense, and my first look feeling was that this looked like fire. Water goddess reclaims. Let's see, that is the symbol for goddess, but with a little thing in front of it, so I would think it's maybe blesses? Because that's a goddess adjacent word. That seems right. Water goddess blesses fire? This is a fireplace after all. Perhaps they were afraid of it burning the house down. The building won't actually cave in on us, will it? I cannot guarantee that, mistress. A fire poker. Oh, taking it. Not my most interesting find. Still. Is that gonna come up later, I wonder? Of all the things she's seeing here, that's what she fixated on. Oh, there's still old books here. That's gotta be relevant, right? This looks interesting. Beautifully made. Much nicer than everything else here. I estimate it to be hollow, mistress. There's something inscribed in the lid. Must be a clue as to what's inside. Or like a protection symbol or something, who knows. I'm gonna have to guess the whole thing. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> the sequence resembles my translation for bless. Treasures, books, down, wins. You can interpret books or treasures. In many of these cases, the translations, as they would in real life, reflect the biases of the author, interestingly. I'm going to say this means of. It's got to be a really short term. So it's probably because or of. It's like a very functional little dash. They're comparing it to the word blesses up there, I think, which is interesting because if bless, if I'm right about blesses, then the symbol on the right is goddess and the left part is like an additional modifier. And so a blessing could be of the goddess, so the, the little dash could be indicating that something is part of something. Great, big, or enormous, or tiny, or just nebula.
treasures of great value. Or books of nebula truth. <laughs> Winds. Let's say treasures here. Treasures jewel. There's so many dashes that maybe it is enormous. Like there's so many extra that needed even more indication. Because it kind of looks like the of symbols in the middle of there. It does have we, which is the sim. It has the uh, the dashes that we associate with we so far, which we associate with like you know a group. So maybe a very large number of stuff. There's definitely a leap here though. Does Treasures of Enormous Value work? Sure is a sentence. <laughs> Yara will be most excited by this find, mistress. Whatever proves to be inside. That sounds interesting. I think it's a reliquary. A place to put your belongings when you die. The idea is you get them back when you return. The people often return from death, mistress. The loop says everyone returns from death. So long as their soul gets back to the rivers. And what do you believe, mistress? It's a comforting idea. I can see why people choose to believe. Perhaps you require more evidence. Or any. <laughs> I don't know if there is any to begin with. But the, um, I had to step away there because they were using the same text prompts for interacting with the, the, the chest as they were for the dialogue, which is kind of awkward. If everything loops to the extent that supposedly the same conversations happen in every loop, then I don't think you could put your belongings in a reliquary to have for your next timeline. Like, if you loop back around and you are reborn in the next timeline, you don't get to inherit your own wealth because the whole everything's starting over and, re and repeating again. So, like, it's definitely just a, even within the mythology of this universe, as far as I understand it, it's still just a self-comforting lie that doesn't even fit their own ideology, but it's the type of thing that makes you feel better on your way out, potentially. Let's see if I can shift it. Curses. Can't even get my fingers under the lid. Open it up then, six. Not locked, mistress, but stiff. And I lack fingers for leverage. Sad robot. You don't have an attachment for prying? Something you can stick into your arm sockets? My first robot had those. Perhaps I could find something on the ship. I'll try the iron poker. I might be able to snap the lock. Well, it's not locked. Mistress, is it moving? It's definitely shifting. Here goes then. Let's see. And there it was, just lying there. The greatest treasure I ever found. Six. Look at this. From inside the coffer, from the distant past of the nebula's once great empire. 
Incredible. It was a crown. What's this crown doing out here? Did Janiki bring it here and hide it? I do not think that coffer has been opened in at least 500 years, mistress. But he must have known it was here. Why else come? The eagle and sun motif. Just like Janiki's brooch. The mark of the empire. Could this be the crown of Ayox itself? There's something written along the rim. Whoa. It skips past we, so we're certain of the term we now, it looks like. That's interesting. Oh, this one's a long one. This is probably really important. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn down the speech volume a little bit. I've never done this in any video game. I've never turned down the speech compared to the rest of the game. I always turn the rest down and leave speech maxed out. But she is startlingly loud and, and, effort, and hev heavily compressed. The audio quality is just rough. Like, it's not the voice actor. It's just the actual recording and how it's processed in the in the files. It's rough. All right, it's very it's like it's rough on my ears. It might be smoothed out a bit on your guys' end because I also compress the audio. So anything that whenever I re react to anything is standing out audibly, that often is less true by the time it gets into the video. Okay, this is a very small symbol. That could be rivers. Rivers make sense just because we know that that symbol means water, or a symbol like that means water. The most water-related thing might be the case. Let's say... This sounds like a good proclamation so far for a crown. On rivers of light we sail forever. A circle. Circles mean forever, right? On rivers of light we sail forever. That could be a good one. I might have nailed that one. At least it's satisfying enough. Hmm. Circles mean forever in a lot of iconography in general, not in this game specifically. It hasn't come up yet in here. And those dashes potentially mean enormity, joining. On rivers of light, we sail forever. Wow, really slammed that. Is this crown what Miari wanted us to find? Is this why she sent us out here looking? Renba too, perhaps. Mistress. I will have to tell her, mistress. I have no choice. <laughs> I just had an interesting thought just now. So, she keeps killing the robots. And I'm like, I don't find the robot that annoying, so I don't know why it'd be justified necessarily. I'm not entirely sure what to think about that. But, if the robot is entirely beholden to its owner and has to inform it 
uh, inform her of things and has to relay things to her, then potentially she might have to kill the robot to keep information from Miari. Like, that would be an incentive to kill the robots, is that he will tell her no matter what. And so maybe you push the robot off a cliff, and then the information never reaches Miari. And that could be crucial, potentially, because as a programmed, un un not necessarily unthinking, but unchoosing entity, or one that has its choices limited, it simply will not be reasoned with about not telling that information. Hmm. That would potentially explain why she's so dismissive of and potentially hostile to these things. You constantly have the option to think of of them as a spy instead of a, a minder. And that might very well be informed by past experiences. There's something up here. A blade? A dagger? A little corroded, but beautifully crafted. And with an eagle and sun on the hilt. It appears to be inscribed, mistress. I can barely make the letters out, they're so small. Just need to split these up. Hmm. As of maybe fire at the end. We don't have the power of being that thorough. Look, look how much is being left behind. What is she going to do with that? Something's gone wrong. I must have used the wrong words. There's no more words. <laughs> Doesn't feel right. What? Is she crossing out the ones that are wrong? But this symbol, the U, isn't anywhere on here, so only fire is. Is she gonna come to the conclusion that I just can't do this? I'm certain my translation for fire is correct now. Ooh, just across the board, I'm done with fire, okay. But I don't have the rest of these words. Now let's take a stab at that new word. Oh. Oh. He thinks this is all a super long word, okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the- I'm gonna say it's not my, because that's such a tiny- word that it wouldn't be expressed so complexly empire temples hmm the empress symbols in the middle there there's the the mountain that i previously kind of thought might be tied to protection the symbol for we is in there i'm guessing this is empire Empire's Fire. That's a quite the name for a dagger. A workbench. Whoever lived here would have needed to be self-sufficient. They would have needed water. They would have needed water, mistress. Anything hiding in the shadows? Certainly there is.
anything else from that conversation? Okay. Yeah. After the dead air of the house, it was good to see the sky again. We have obtained three intriguing artifacts here. With luck, we will be able to trace them. I suggest we take the crown to Professor Miari directly. We must also inform her of our theories about Renba. I'd like to activate the hopper now, mistress. Not just yet. There must be more to this place. I want to know who lived here, who died here, and what happened to Renba. Yeah, that was a bit of a leap to be like, let's leave now. I'm like, I, I, Mr. Robot, there's fiery shit clouds in the distance. Like, he might be there. Or at least this crashed ship, we clearly aren't done looking yet. What is a hopper anyway? A short distance teleporter, mistress. But what is a hopper? I mean, what's inside of it? An interconnected mesh of quantum. The qu quantum uh, creates some kind of field which the subject is passed through and dissected via... Mmm... Mistress, does it matter? You're happy enough to fire off the hopper? Even if you don't know how it works? Don't you care what it does to us? I was gonna say, the moment we got teleported, I was like, uh, transporter problem? Like, did I just get killed and cloned? Like... It appears to work, mistress. This is interesting because it implies there was water here. Is this channel natural? I don't think it is. Dug out. There must be a wellspring here. A feeble one. One that requires every drop to be used. Water would have run down the channel. Right past the house. Imagine having a stream of your own. Not a bad way to live. If you can withstand the soul-crushing loneliness. That was prescriptive, emotive for a robot. Interesting. What is a wellspring anyway? A source, mistress. Nothing more. But what is a wellspring? How does it work? Evidently, it is a source, mistress. It has no mechanism as I understand it. Someone lived out here. They irrigated the land, prayed. Here, in the eye of the cyclones. Some kind of hermit? Hmm. The robot is stubbornly literal in a, to the point of being obtuse at times where it's like, like, the wellspring for this water was a source? How does it work? It does not have a mechanism. I mean, something makes it be a source of water. Cap capillary actions or something. There, there's a geological explanation, a hydrogeological explanation for why there's a stream. Wait, no, I didn't mean to click on that. I, mm. No, 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 stop. Shit. I too reflexively was like, damn it. What's happening? This isn't the ship. Darkness. This is not the Nightingale. Damn it, I didn't mean to leave. I just kind of, I didn't really read it. I just kind of passively am like, let's inspect each thing. What's that over there? And then as I, I, I literally registered what it said as I was pressing A already, and I'm like, no, don't leave. We have to look at the, we have to look at the religious stand thing. We have to check out what the, where the fire is. I have to see if I can land here again after whatever this is, I guess. Six. I hate robots. I hate them. 
They always do this kind of thing. Right before they give you the speech about how it was for your own good. Mistress, you were about to step on a small ant. My ethical core required me to lock you inside of this packing crate. It's cold in here. This is upsetting. Oh, there he... Uh, There you are. What is going on with you? Are you... I think this might be Renba's robot? The identity is being hidden by the lack of face. But yeah, we were just accidentally... We were either accidentally or intentionally uh, teleported here. She thinks intentionally. Like, this is akin to how... Uh, Six is loyal to Miyari. Like, this might be an attempt to isolate us so that he can fulfill his mission. But I think this is Renba's robot, and that's why they're being a little coy here. Where is your head? Miyari. Six? Is everything all right? You followed me, Lexi. As I thought you might. Because you knew. Because you've always known. I'm not Miyari. Miyari did not come. She would not face me. I thought so. She lies. She is not who she says she is. So, who is she? She is just what she appears to be. This is definitely Renba, right? And nothing more. I don't understand. I sent her a brooch from the body. Yep. The Emperor's body. Unburned. Not even buried. She fooled them all. Even me. I have that brooch here. I am taking the body. I will return it to the rivers. But I am not coming back to Eox. Not yet. There isn't time. I found something. Something that matters more than her lies. Tell Lexi, there is a great darkness. An all-consuming, hungry darkness. And it is coming. How are you doing this, Janiki? How are you talking to me? Where are you? There is an ancient place. An observatory. It is watching, and it holds the wires of our fate in its claws. Tell me what you know. I will find it before the vault is lost. The robots know, but they don't remember. Someone, long ago, made certain they would not remember. Remba, just answer one question. Are you alive? I have no idea. Uh? Well, that's alarming. I guess this wasn't Renby's robot, because now it's six again, it looks like. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck happened to Renba? That's alarming. Something's wrong here. Something distressing is going on. But also, uh, one, this I have to say, narratively, this is a good hook. I am concerned about what's going on. And I'm interested to know deeper. But 
as a side note, we're supposed to be the only archaeologist and nobody else believes in archaeology and has an ideological aversion to the entire concept of archaeologists. So it's a little deflating to have the character who is the sole rambunctious, ar rambun rambunctious archaeologist uh, have her story be following the path of somebody else who already found everything before we did. <laughs> like, it means that he can do these... He can do a tease like this that's very effective. Uh, and maybe it won't all be like this, but the fact that so far we're following somebody else that's archaeologing better than we are is funny given the premise. <laughs>